Now I'd like to introduce Margaret Vestia, the European Commissioner for Competition. She is a woman who has a thankless yet exciting task of having multinational companies pay taxes within the European Union. And she's extremely passionate about the circular economy and sustainability. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is exciting to be here. The Copenhagen Fashion Summit. Summit of change. Summit of solutions. To be among so many talented people. You who constantly give us new ways, new ideas, as to how to express ourselves. May that endeavor never end, to enable people, to empower people, to feel comfortable in their identity. Fashion is obviously creative, individual, sometimes it's fantastical. And yet, you can never completely separate it from the society around us. You can take the lightest, most ethereal silk, a dress that is almost floating on air, and yet it touches the person who wears it. And you can take the most fantastic, original fashion, but it still touches and relates to the society that we live in. And that doesn't just mean people here in this room. It's just not about consumers of fashion. It also means the workers who produce the clothes that we wear. People who have just as much as anyone else the right to earn a fair wage and to go to work without fearing for their health, maybe even their lives. It means people who live where the fibers are grown and produced and turned into textiles. People who have just the same right as anyone else to clean air and to water that is safe for their children to drink. It means people all over the world, us of course included, whose future depend on cutting carbon dioxide emissions before climate change gets out of control. All of those people are part of this industry. We are all this industry. So we are all part of your responsibility, because your choices and your actions, they have effects on so many people. And this is why it is so great to be here in Copenhagen, to see that responsibility being taken so seriously. Because here, in this room, you can feel that fashion is changing. The lone voices that have been calling out to the industry for more sustainable production are coming together in harmony here. This is not anymore a lonesome endeavor. This is a collective endeavor. And it's encouraged by consumers who want to know the price others have paid for the price they wear, who now see that there are business models and money to be made, and an industry to prosper, also a sustainable industry. And this growing commitment from industry and consumers to sustainable fashion, that's a responsibility that respects workers and the environment. But the real important thing about this summit is not to talk about fashion. It's the fact that it's about solutions. It's about getting there. It's about seeing what's already being done and letting that inspiration flourish. Because we cannot make change just by tinkering at the edges, making something nice here or there. 
it's not just about a few sustainable brands. It's about all of us. And the industry is big. This will have global effects. You are here, and you are part of global change, because your industry is so important. So sustainability has to be built in in every part of the fashion value chain. It needs to be built in the way that fashion is designed, how textiles are produced, the way our clothes are made, and what we do with them when we don't want to wear them anymore. So what we're talking about is fundamental change. Change that calls for rethinking every part of what we do today. And that is not a task for the faint-hearted. But then again, I don't think anyone would ever accuse the fashion industry of being faint-hearted, of lack of imagination, of satisfaction with the status quo. On the contrary. And what draws me and millions of others to fashion is these endless opportunities of surprise and delight. Creativity that takes familiar things and transforms them into exciting new shapes. This summit doesn't mean that hypocrisy is over. This doesn't mean that the dilemmas will all be solved. I may be sitting last night and preparing these few words, knitting in fair trade, sustainable, nature-colored uh, alpaca wool. It was slow. It remains to be seen if it will be fashion. And maybe my shoes were 20 years old, but my dress, it was brand new. And I was feeling fine and comfortable because this dilemma of sitting there was asking new questions, new provocative questions, because I didn't want to wear a uniform. I didn't wear, want to become gray. I wanted everything that you can bring, and I want it in a sustainable fashion. You have the creativity. You have the courage and the ambition to deal with these new challenges. And you who are here and take up this challenge, you will inspire many more people, not just to design fashion, but to design new ways to do fashion. And pioneering in a world is a remarkable thing to do, so that you can look back in 50 years and say, these were the times where we used the word sustainable. We don't anymore because this is what our industry is, and this is how we express ourselves, because we take this responsibility of enabling people to expressing themselves and showing who they are. We take that to heart, and we take our future to our hearts as well. Thank you.